I was born in Serbia. I moved to Gothenburg in Sweden. When I was 17, I saw pictures of curvy celebrities in magazines. They looked amazing. It was then I knew I wanted a big bum. Twenty-four-year-old Swedish glamour model Natasha Crown has one particular obsession: to gain as much weight as possible in one part of her body. The first thing I'll do in the morning is just go to the mirror and look at my bum. I don't think that my bum is so big that, like the people are telling, like your bum is so big, and I was like, no, it's normal. I think like I'm obsessed. Why does she want such a big bottom, and how is she going about it? I grew up in Gothenburg with my mom, dad, and my little brother. I was a really happy child. I have always had self-confidence. I was really popular. When I was 16, I started to look like a woman. I loved my body. I loved it a lot. Yeah, I had like titties, small waist, and bump. Not big, big, but okay. <laughs> At age 20, Natasha had her first procedure, and more followed. I have a lot of surgeries. Breast augmentation, three Brazilian butt lifts, fillers, Botox over the face. I had a lot. <laughs> when I walk around, I feel all the jiggle, 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 and I, I'm getting like horny with myself. And I think that's the best feeling you can uh, have. Natasha isn't the only fan of her bottom. Over the past three months, she has built up a large online following across social media. Her bum has also become her full-time job, as she now makes money from her own website. I think that I appeal to the men who love a big bums. They look me like I'm Amazon, a big woman, a tall woman. It's more talking to my fans. Natasha may have thousands of supporters in the virtual world, but what about the other people in her life? My family is like, no, you shouldn't. Uh, think about your health, think about uh, you're getting a family later. Like, they are like family thinking. They can be pretty nasty. Uh, you look like a cow, you look like, yeah. Uh, at the beginning, it was like, what, you, what are you, what are you, like, I'm your daughter. How, how can you tell, <laughs> like, something? You don't, you just, you just don't speak like that. I, I think to your own child and, uh, at the beginning, it was rough. I was like, okay, are they just telling that to me just that I'm uh, because of my health? And then, like, the more there was gagging, I was like, okay, think whatever you want to think. They are living in another world that I'm not living in that world. So it's uh, pretty difficult, I think, but no one can stop me. <laughs> I think that I have body dysmorphia. I don't think I'm so big. When I'm shopping, then I realize that I'm really, really big because I can't find clothes here. Uh, and then like, I'm, oh, okay, I'm big. Some days I feel like more slimmer and I don't like it. I want to be like sexy. I feel like I have power. I can do whatever I want and I love it but I love more. <laughs> Natasha's regular surgeon is Dr. Byrne. Of course, we have patients going more and more to the extreme, and what's important in that, of course, we don't treat patients with psychiatric illness, who doesn't feel good about themselves. I mean, looking at Natasha, she's got a strong mind, she knows what she's looking for, 
I understand her. That is her goal with her body and her life. I have known Dr. Byrne for five years. I think we have a great relationship. I trust him because he's always honest about everything he's doing. Natasha's next planned procedure is another Brazilian butt lift. Before any surgery, she must have a consultation. I remember the first time we met, you almost had no bum, really. You were quite flat. And I know that you have been doing your work and we have been doing our work. Yeah. So, so three Brazilian butt lifts yeah. and let's see. I think my measuring tape will not cover you all around. So we have to do it step by step, right? I'm going down here. We have already performed uh, three Brazilian butt lifts for Natasha and also breast augmentation. Uh, what we understand of today's consultation is that Natasha is looking for going bigger. You're about 190 centimeters around your butt. I'm 184. You know that the measurements <laughs> arm to arm is the same as your length. Yeah. So your butt is uh, as uh, long as I am. In order to pull off a successful Brazilian butt lift, Natasha must first gain weight on other parts of her body, which can then be transferred into her bum. It's what we call Robin Hood surgery, right? We take from the rich parts, which might be here, and we add to the poor parts, which is for the bottom. Before the surgery, I need to gain like 25 kilos, because uh, the more I gain, the better will the bum be. My point of view is not to say to someone what they should like or not like. I mean, it's a free society. I don't judge my patients. Gym, eating, gym, eating, and then you will grow. The great thing about all of this is that you can eat whatever you want. As Natasha is committed to gaining weight on her bum, its size has an impact on simple things. It's really difficult because I can't like do like this because you have space between my bum and the back like this. And when I'm uh, flying, I need like two chairs because the seat belt does it's not it's not enough. So I need two. It's really it's yeah it's difficult. Despite the problems that come with her ongoing transformation, with a successful website and large online following, Natasha is excited about the future. I didn't think it was possible to earn money uh, by having big butts, but now I see it's possible. I love my job and uh, I don't want to do anything else. You can have a big bum and earn a lot of money. <laughs>